in this year's team compared to last year's team? I think the biggest difference from this year's team to last year's team is definitely how versatile we are. I think we have a lot of different weapons and we can miss and match them in many different ways on both sides. So I think our versatility is something we can really lean on uh, defensively and just offensively, throwing different looks at teams on both sides. We just uh, talked to Jeff. He said he's comfortable with any scholarship guy on the roster taking the three right now. Is this one of the better shooting teams you, you've been a part of? Yeah, I think this is definitely one of the better shooting teams. Uh, it just comes with work. Uh, all of the guys are hard workers. We put in the time and we believe in trusting each other. And when your teammates uh, believe in you, it just instills that confidence that you know it's going to go in every time you shoot it. Defense can be a mindset sometimes. I mean, you obviously have to execute and work hard and all that stuff. The guys have to really commit to it, right? Um, what have you seen out of your teammates as far as committing on that end of the court this year? Uh, I think our, our toughness has been uh, on another level. Uh, I really like the way we set the tone defensively. Uh, we're really gifted on offense, but like you said, like effort and energy is all it takes on defense, and we've been doing that really well uh, as of lately. When you say on another level, what is, what, can you describe that a little, a little more? Uh, we're just very cohesive. Like everybody's talking one through five, um, echoing commands, uh, just a lot of intensity. Like Pittsburgh tough is something that I think of when when our defense is, is a focal point. What do you think you've seen from Dane that's sort of embodied that Pittsburgh toughness, even though he is a new guy in your program this season? Yeah, uh, Dane's big guard, super tough guard. That's one of the first things I think I think of when I uh, when I hear Dane's name. Like, you know he's going to bring it on both sides, uh, day in and day out. And uh, we appreciate that. And uh, we definitely feed off his his toughness. Like, he's definitely a edgy guy. And that, that can do nothing but help us during the season. How do you think, you know, someone as young as Biba has you know, learn to understand the toughness of the college game compared to being in high school? I think he's adjusted really well. So kudos to him. Um, we talk to him day in and day out um, just to control what, you, what he can control because as a freshman, some things can be a little bit overwhelming, but he's definitely brung that, that edge, that toughness uh, coming from high school, and, and that's what we're going to need uh, uh, from him this season. Do you still feel like I feel like a lot of people have asked you this, but heading into the season, you guys did miss the NCAA tournament last year. Is there still like, even in this season, do you still feel like you'll have that chip on your shoulder throughout the until you make it again, or is it more just something that's on the back at the back end right now as you head into Radford on Monday? Um, it's a whole new season, but I definitely think uh, it's still fuel to the fire. Like that's like the gasoline we do in the fire. The fire is getting bigger, so uh, it's definitely fuel to the fire, and um, we're looking to leave no doubt this year. What do you guys need to do to set the tone on Monday for the season? Uh, to set the tone on Monday, uh, I think we just need to come out and throw the first punch, honestly. Uh, just assert, assert our dominance on, a, on both ends of the floor and just come out and be as tough as possible. Like, uh, I feel like as long as we're playing hard and we're playing smart, uh, we're going to be one of the tougher teams to beat in the country. So who's the uh, leading candidate to get the, uh, oh, to repeat the opening night triple-double? Uh, who knows, honestly. <laughs> Like Coach said, it could be anybody on the floor. We're just trying to come out with a win and stack as many of those as we can. You guys are about to start your season, but there's some other teams here that are playing and doing well. Volleyball is ranked number one. They're playing tonight. Football, you know, they've got their game tomorrow night. Do you guys, you guys get into that stuff too? You watch I mean, you, you're going to watch volleyball tonight or football tomorrow? You get into any of those teams too? Yeah, definitely. I love supporting uh, other pit teams uh, when they're doing well or when they're struggling. It's just all about the support, honestly. Um, they see our faces at the games, and, and we see theirs. So uh, just pit support is, is what comes to my mind when, when, I, when I hear that. You mentioned that Pittsburgh tough mentality. How does that allow you guys to kind of separate yourselves from other teams in the ACC? Uh, I think that allows us to separate from other teams in the ACC just, just because when you're playing harder than somebody else, uh, it tends to cover up some mistakes. Not all, but some, um, and just playing as hard as possible. And like I said before, setting the tone is one of the our our key points uh, going into the season. Is this is this your last year of eligibility? Yeah. When when a guy, a college guy, approaches your last year like that, do you, do you approach the season a little differently? A little more intensity, a little more desperation. Um, just trusting the process. You're definitely taking it day by day. Uh, it's going to be my last first college game, so. A lot of emotions go into it, but I love to play basketball. So for me, it's just um, taking things day by day and staying, staying present, staying in the moment. When you look at Jalen, I mean, 
last year, you really came on towards the end of the season. But over this off season and heading into the first game on Monday, what do you think you've seen from him that showed really a lot of growth and maybe in terms of leadership as well? Yeah, you said it. Uh, his leadership role has definitely uh, increased, and um, he's doing a great job with it. Honestly, he's a lot. He's a lot more vocal, and um, we can look to him for for. Uh, if we miss a shot, confidence we can look to him. He's reliable, really. He's a reliable point guard, and and I wouldn't be want to be back for uh, partners with anybody else. You're you're an older guy, but does your leadership uh, responsibilities amp up a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think I've been doing a, a better job of being more vocal on and off the court, and just leading by example. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not the most talkative, so um, that I really had to get out of my comfort zone this year and, and step up to the plate. Mm -hmm. Having gotten the chance to talk to Dame yet, but is he a talkative guy? Is he a quiet guy? Does he get loud in the locker room? What's he like? Uh, he's like a he's in the middle. Um, he's a, a mellow guy, but on the court he's a dog. So uh, love Dame, love everything about him. Can't wait to uh, play with him this year. How do you think the front court's been looking for you guys? I know the coach has been talking about a lot about Cam and some of the other guys. But what, who, what have you seen from those guys in terms of their improvement over the off season? Yeah, a lot of growth. Um, KM physical, physical paint presence. Um, when he's in the paint, you're gonna know he's in the paint. Uh, uh, one of the guys that that uh, has really improved and has grown, in my opinion, is um, G. Uh, you guys are gonna see a lot of him this year. Uh, shot, he shot it well last year, but he's shooting it uh, extremely well this year. Um, he's been able to take on the responsibility of guarding other guards because. We could switch one through four, and uh, yeah, just a lot of growth in his game, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Which fans expect of Amstel when he comes back healthy? Which your fans expect? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just a lot of smart plays. Like his IQ is on another level, and I tell him this all the time. Like sometimes he sees things that I don't even see. So uh, just kudos to him. Uh, it's, it's definitely you could tell he has some. Some Bosnian in his in his blood, just just because of the plays he makes. Uh, definitely a playmaker, can shoot shoot the ball, lights out. Uh, so I can't wait for him to get back. Is there a little bit of excitement being back in front of your home fans and being back on the court and starting the season again? Definitely, it's been a long time coming. Can't wait to play in front of the zoo. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of excitement. Uh, just can't wait to get out there and, and show you guys what we've been cooking up uh, during the during the off season. Appreciate it. Jalen up here.